techniques that we use were actually uh, taken from the hammer system. Back in the 80s, uh, I devised a system of techniques using a claw hammer. It's a great weapon. It's easy to have when you can actually wear one of those carpenters tool belt, put a couple hammers on there, and go walking down the town. Uh, during the summer, some people said to me uh, that they couldn't see a, a real use in going to battle or something with a camera. Uh, my point of view is the techniques that we teach, they can be used for a, a hatchet, a battle axe, a tomahawk, other various weapons that could be also used to throw, who have proven themselves in the course of battle through history and time. I'll begin with uh, showing the basic eight strikes that we have. We strike down as number one, two, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After that, they're broken down to stop in the center each time. When a student develops the ability to move more frequently, they do what we call pecking. So the striking technique is pecking. So if I had to move around my opponent, preparing him to strike, I could strike him in the front and the back and on the crown of the head all at the same time. After the student develops a bit better use of the weapon, they will flow the weapon, the eight strikes together. So each eight strike is coming together in the techniques. There's 12 basic systems. I'm going through this quick because I know that I don't have much time. So I'll take my Uthi up here. We have uh, 12 basic defensive offensive techniques taught in this system. As your opponent comes to strike, the first one you're striking, well, I'll, I'll break it down. This is the only time I'll break it down because it takes too long. I'm doing three things here. I'm moving my body out of the direction. I'm carrying the weapon and is striking with the opposite camera. So as my opponent comes to strike, I come around my opponent, pulling him back, and maybe he capitated him. From the other side as it goes, my opponent comes to strike, stepping around, taking the opponent by the neck, and taking him down. The second technique is just a volley of strikes. As your opponent comes to strike, and from the other side, as your opponent comes to strike, you strike him to the neck, to the neck, to the kidneys, and back again. Third technique comes from a reverse grip. So I usually hold the camera this way, I'll hold the camera this way now. As your opponent comes to strike, moving out of the way, you carry striking into the stomach, back to the neck, to the other side again. And from the other side, striking to the stomach, to the neck, and back again. The fourth technique, as your opponent comes to strike, striking to the stomach, using a hooking technique on the arm, taking him down, and do a controlling technique using the neck. And from the other side, a bit quicker, you're com completely controlling your opponent. The fifth technique is what we call a scissor technique. As your opponent comes to strike, you're scissoring your cameras. As your opponent comes to strike, you move out of the way always, scissor the camera, strike into the net, and then a takedown again. From the other side, move it to the side, scissor into the neck, taking the arm down into a controlling pattern. The next scissor technique comes from the reverse grip. As your opponent comes to strike, moving out of the way, collecting the wrist, back into the stomach, back into the controlling technique again. From the other side, catching the wrist, back around to the throat. The next technique is number seven. There's a count here. As your opponent comes to strike, move out of the way, he comes to the second strike, you hit the butt of the weapon up to his chin, plucking him by the elbow, taking him again by the neck. Punch it from the other side. Move out of the way, second one, moves out of the way, up with the butt of the weapon, catching the arms, grabbing your opponent by the throat again. The next technique we use is uh, what we call an inside-outside. So as your opponent comes to strike, you're moving to the inside of your opponent, because uh, sometimes they don't strike directly straight at you, it sort of comes around, so you're not going to have the chance to actually get around him. So as your opponent comes to strike, you move to the inside, and right away you have to get your guard up because you don't want this hand there. So what happens here is three things. 
when it comes to strike, I move here and I get him here to here. At the same time, I scoop his wrist, come around, grab him by the neck, and take him down again. And from the other side, move him to the inside with the outside, guarding yourself, scooping around, grab him by the neck, taking your opponent down again. The next technique is called an inside-inside. As your opponent comes to strike, you move him to the inside. Always striking around. Boy, I'm getting three-minute notice. <laughs> From uh, the other side, you move him to the inside with an inside. If you strike, you can strike. Come back around, take your opponent down. The next strike is an inside slip out. As your opponent comes to strike, move, slip it out, bring it back to the net. From the other side, move, slip it out, bring it to the net and take your opponent down. Another slip out technique is as your opponent moves, he slips out, you hook it back up under the tricep and control your opponent. From the other side, here, he slips out of it, hook it underneath the tricep, Controlling your opponent down to the ground again. Now I'm going to run out of time. And the uh, last technique I'll show is as your opponent comes, you move to the inside with an outside block. You do not want to be in front of his other hand. So you move to the outside. Affecting your opponent to the throat, take him down to an arm, take down again. From the, from the other side, this is sort of being startled. It's, it's not like the most of them I was opposing, I was attacking him right off the bat. From here, as he came to uh, strike me, I moved out of the way because I was maybe scared. Having him is kind of funny being scared. But as I come back around, I come here, controlling my opponent down. Okay, uh, those are the 12 basic uh, techniques that we use utilizing the camera. And uh, like I said, if you had a claw hammer, a hatchet, an axe, tomahawk, any type of weapon, you can use these same techniques. Well, we'll sum that up. Thanks a lot.